They told us that his owner had been arrested and he had been stuck in a house for over a week. <laughs> Nobody knew he was there. He was really malnourished. His brother was in good health, and a humane society pulled his brother, but not him. He was older, so they just assumed that he wasn't going to find a home. I convinced my fiance to just go meet him. When we got there, there was like all the kennels in the pound, and he was the only dog laying there quiet, not barking, just super still. I just couldn't stop crying. A week later, we picked him up. When we brought him home, he slept. And then he woke up and was so excited, like he had finally found his home. My fiance Rob didn't want him because we already had two. Now he carries him around like a baby. They do piggyback rides and they're best friends. I've never met a dog like him ever. His personality is one of a kind. Cut. When he doesn't get what he wants, he yells. <laughs> if I'm sitting in his spot on the couch, he'll sit on the floor and just like whine and he'll go on forever. <laughs> You can hear him from anywhere in the house. If he wants to cuddle but nobody will pet him, he'll yell. Or if he wants dinner, he'll sit on the floor and yell. He acts like an old man. He likes to sleep and he's the biggest cuddle bug ever. He's very patient and gentle with kids. Thor is like my son. A lot of people see him and they immediately think he's like this aggressive, mean dog when really he's the nicest dog you'll ever meet. It's sad because when we go in public, other dogs will get pet walk by him and he'll get sad and watch. A lot of people question like what happened to his ears, why we did that and stuff like that. And I usually explain to people like we got him like that, we rescued him and he already had his ears cropped and it was a bad cropping. I know that bad things did happen. Like I know he was used for breeding constantly. <laughs> It's inspiring to see a life go through something that brutal and then be able to come out on the other side and trust and love people. I love the way that he teaches people to love and he means the world to me. I think it's important to adopt because there's a lot of amazing dogs like Thor out there that people miss out on. People say when they look at Thor is, wow, he's a tank. And they say, if I connect him to the house, he could pull it. Or if I connect him to the car, he could pull it. He is like my heart outside of my body. And I genuinely feel like he's my baby, like a son. I would tell Thor, and I'm sorry for the things he's been through. And I will try my hardest to make the rest of his life as perfect as it can be.